Now that we've read Cinderella, I want you to open the elements worksheet in your lesson one folder. And we're going to complete that first row. The first row is about Cinderella. And yours looks kind of like this, except it's a little bit more colorful and a little bit more fancy. You're actually going to type in the document in Google Docs. And as you look at this, I want you to determine um, if Cinderella has an unjust or unfair parent. And if so, which one? If she has a good character. If she has selfish sisters, and if so, if they're named, or a brief description. If she has guides or helpers. If she meets a prince or a princess. If she attends a ball or a feast. If she has forgotten shoes, and if so, which kind. And if she has magical objects. Now, I'm going to go ahead and guide you through the lesson that is learned and I'm going to pause the video so that you're able to write it down and or type it in in the lesson learned column because there it actually is quite lengthy so I want to want to give you enough time to write that down and I'm going to give you about 10 minutes altogether somewhere between 5 and 10 I'm going to check in at 5 um, but somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes to get that first row completed now the lesson or message in this version of Cinderella is that beauty is to be admired, but grace and kindness are lasting virtues. Without them, nothing is possible. With them, one can do the impossible. So as I said, I'm going to give you between five and ten minutes to get that first row completed. Now we're going to look at our second version of Cinderella. We're going to read and analyze a fairy tale in verse. Now most of what forms of writing we're familiar with are prose. Prose includes the form of the version that we previously read. And prose is simply any form of writing fiction or nonfiction that reaches paragraph to paragraph and margin to margin. In other words, it fills up the space on the page. And we're going to read several more versions of Cinderella that are prose versions, not just the one that we read that was the European or French version. We're going to be reading a Caribbean version called Cendrillion, a Chinese version called Yeshen, a Mexican version called Domatila, and an African tale called Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters, among others. But what is it that this new version is that we're going to read now? That's in verse. Verse is a form of writing that uses shorter lines that can be arranged in different ways on the page. They're not organized into paragraphs, but in groups of lines called stanzas. And if you think this sounds like poetry, you're right, because songs, poems, and nursery rhymes are types of verse writing. So let's read the poem, the verse form of Cinderella. Cinderella Sonnet. My life has been a twisted tale so far, always in fear that something could go wrong. I walk on eggshells and wish on a star that someday my true love will come along. A slave to the whims and follies of the world, I never dreamed to me that life would be so sweet. How far do reach the wishes of a girl? For all my life I prayed that we would meet. Our dance with you did set my heart alight. One smile did say, it's me that you adore. One touch from you and all the world was right. One kiss from you did seal my fate to yours. I never thought that true love would be mine. 
Oh, my sweet prince, you've made my life sublime. What did you notice about the rhyme pattern? I want you to pause for a second as we look back at the sonnet and look at which lines of the poem rhyme. I'm going to go through and read the last word on each line and I want you to figure out which lines rhyme. Far, wrong, star, along, world, sweet, girl, meet, a light, a door, right, yours, mine, sublime. So in the first three stanzas, every other line rhymes, but the last pair of lines rhyme with each other. And why is this? This is a special type of poem called a sonnet. And it's taken from the traditional Shakespearean sonnets that have 14 lines, where the last two lines summarize the central idea of the poem or answer a question asked earlier in the poem. The first set of four lines have every other line rhyming and the concluding the first set first four sets of four lines have every other line rhyming and the concluding two lines rhyme with each other. Now it's important to note that this sonnet was written in 2008 and it is also important for several reasons and we're going to look at some questions related to both the sonnet and the prose story form. But I want you to think about this before we move on. Remember a traditional tale like that 1600s French European prose version can be turned into something unique. For example, the 2008 sonnet version. So now we're going to move on to our question and answer portion in Nearpod. 